Okay guys, so we are going to start by practicing the different ways to create tone but just with one line. So I'm going to start showing you here the darkest tone that I can create just with basically drawing kind of like a figure eight or like a kind of, it's called scumbling. Um, it's almost like going round and round and round and it's a good way to layer one line on top of itself um, and get a really good depth of tone. So as we move to the right, I'm going to show you how you would get like a medium tone and then a slightly lighter tone and then a really light tone. Just the same as you would do with a pencil getting darker um, and then getting lighter and lighter. So it's just a different way to build up tone and if you've done scribble drawings in the past, um, if you remember last time when we did a banana scribble drawing, some of you might remember that. Um, you would have used this kind of mark making. It's not smooth and it's not entirely realistic, but from far away, it still achieves that kind of strength of tone that we need to show um, to show form and to show shadows and to show light. So this is a really good way to do it. As, as I say, it's like a figure eight or a bit like a kind of circle technique. You can also use hatching or cross hatching. So hatching is just straight up and down, really jaggy. And then cross hatching is when you go the opposite way on top. That builds a really nice strength of tone as well. And then I'm just gonna show you quickly how to do like deep wrinkles or kind of lines that have a little bit of a varied quality to them. So obviously if you're trying not to take your pen off the page, then you'll be thinking, how do I draw a line that's got thick bits and then it breaks off and then it's got another thick bit. So I'm just showing you here how you would basically vary your pressure. Okay, so you've been given two images to draw from. I'm choosing this guy and I'm going to be mapping out very lightly with pencil his face first. I've basically marked out the bottom of his nose, the side of his face, roughly where his eyes and eyeballs sit and the top and bottom of his ear, that's all. Now, not everybody has fancy ink pens, so to prove this, I'm just going to use my my whale pen, which uh, makes me smile. It's just literally a normal biro. Um, so you can use anything. You could use the cheapest pen around and you can still achieve amazing results with it. Okay, let's go. So the task is to just use one line. Yes, that's right, one line. You may have tried this in the past. You might have done really quick, uh, fun tasks where you've tried to draw something really fast without taking your pen off the page. This is a long task without taking your pen off the page. It's a challenge. So do what you can, but you can use the pen on top of itself. As you can see, I am going over and over and over. I'm using that scumbling tone building technique. Um, just try to keep connection with the paper as much as you can. Obviously, if you get a sore hand or if you need to move or stand up, then that's absolutely fine. But while you're drawing, try to aim for a technique where you don't lift the pen. Um, if you imagine it like a, an old fashioned sculpture that was made of one wire, I don't know if any of you have ever seen a wire sculpture. If you imagine that wire starting in the, begin in the middle of someone's eye, if it's a face sculpture and then being wound around the eye down past the nose and then down from the nose into the mouth this wire would literally it would connect from feature to feature and um, it would join it all up which would add all these interesting lines that would trail throughout the face okay so we're just going to be trying to cover the whole face with loads and loads of pen lines um, which creates quite an abstract um, very kind of almost slightly messy expressive look um, but it's a really good technique and quite a loose way of working that we want you to, to introduce you to at this stage in third year. Something we want you to learn about in this task are contour lines. Um, so contour lines basically define the outline of a form and there will be lots and lots of contour lines in your drawing. Um, they'll be all joined up, but they will be curved in a way that shows the shape of the face. So that's contour lines. One of the main tips I would give to anyone attempting this task is to half shut your eyes when you're looking at the tone of the reference image. <laughs> 